Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the self-work channel. Welcome to our self-work channel. And here we demystify esoteric concepts and we simplify the science of advanced alchemy so that we can integrate it into our lives and improve our circumstances with it. So this is a place for higher learning for all of us. You know, this is a space for feeding our minds with the right information so that we can continue evolving and growing, right? So my whole philosophy is that take what works, leave what doesn't work. The tarot that I do is a fusion of Kabbalah, African spirituality, Dogon metaphysics, ancient mysticism, Buddhist Tao, and little bits of the Christian faith I grew up on. But remember, take what works, leave what doesn't. Don't involve yourself in the politics of power and how certain schools of thought were corrupted to subjugate the masses. That's not your portion. You're here to live and enjoy life to the fullest. So leave the politics alone. All the major religions of the world say the same thing, but in different ways and in different languages and perspectives. So don't get stuck in arguments and debates. Shit will distract you from living life. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. And it changes nothing. So today's topic is a case study. It's a case study. I got a beautiful, um, I got beautiful feedback from a client. This is a beautiful review, beautiful testimonial. And then I thought, let's do a whole case study on it, you know, breaking down the alchemy behind the processes and detailing why it worked so that, you know, we're learning together on this platform, right? We're learning together on this platform. The more I grow, I want the people who I deal with, the people who I do readings for, the people who I do reconditioning therapy for. I want us to grow together, guys, because of LNG, we need to be evolving, right? Um, so yes, so let's first play the, 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 the ladies review, let's play it and then we'll discuss, um, we will then di dissect the case study, um, afterwards, we'll dissect the case study afterwards, so let's just play it, yes. Hi my darling Timby, I hope that you were well, I'm so sorry for missing you at this late hour or voice noting you rather, but I just needed to tell you how magnificent your aura pack has been for me and it obviously speaks volumes as to how powerful you are, which I love. Um, so yeah, basically girl, my skin has been literally falling apart since um, September last year. I've never suffered with my skin, but all of a sudden my face broke out. Um, it was bleeding, it was burning, it was scaling. My eyes used to be swollen, like it was horrific and I battled for months on end. Um, I even had gone onto a course of antibiotics. It did nothing for me whatsoever. Um, I have bought expensive creams. I have done the most. But yeah, I mean, from expensive face washes to creams to antibiotics to everything, just nothing would work for me. I had broken out just so badly for the first time in my 37-year-old life. I did not believe what was happening to me. Um, and I couldn't place my finger on it. I really couldn't. Um, but the bright side, and I'm so sorry, this is such a long voice message now, but um, gosh, you are aura cleansing, um, the black soap, the root soap, I mean, I've used the bottles with my husband, my son. Um, it's just been so calming for the both of them. For me, I've literally, as I'm speaking to you now, I'm soaking my feet in one of the um, bottles, the pink Himalayan salt and hibiscus. Um, I made your hibiscus tea, and um, I just literally had a mug of that yesterday. For the first time, a mug today. But, girl, today when I woke up, my skin is just different. I've been taking the gut, um, the capsules. It is... I feel like a new person. I feel so energized. I feel like I'm more in control of my energy. I'm able to ground more fully, more quickly, link to spirit. I am just in such a good space, um, you know. So thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Thank you so much for shedding this light on us because sometimes um, when we are low and we need help, um, you are there. And even when we are high and we just need that energy to be subdued a little bit uh, or amplified you with as well so thank you so so much and i would love to order more of that um your gut remedy the castor oil and i'm not sure what else it's mixed with but um capsules i would love that so because mine's almost done i think i'm on day almost done all y'all so i think i've got two more capsules so please let me know babes but you are phenomenal and i'm so sorry i'm going to stop going on now but i have to commend you thank you thank you thank you i can't i can't thank you enough thank you so um i'm just going to title the video physical healing um alchemy hashtag as a case study 
all right because we're doing a case study um, around that to illustrate these learnings so in today's case study uh, clients struggled with skin breakouts she had tried everything uh, she even got on a course of antibiotics and nothing was helping until the gut supplements and the herbal herbal remedy treatments that um, she received from us so we are going to detail um, the root work of that and why it was effective first we want to lay solid foundation so that everything we say in this video will make sense right we're going to put the foundation down and then after that we're going to break down its alchemy okay so today we're going to start with the triad of makaba according to chinese medicine so the triad of makaba we spoke about it in previous videos right the the original trinity right so in chinese medicine they've got the upper dantian which is the brain so what the brain does is it directs vitality and life force it's a it's a, it's a masculine field it has the earth and the fire uh, portal in the body that's what they are linked to so this is a person a human being's electric field all right so this entire center is linked with your mental health it revolves around your your mental health right so this is ka second field the middle dantian this is the diaphragm so uh, breath is life force and vitality in the system we know this because when a person is dead they no longer breathe and they don't have a pulse so breath is life it's called prana the more breath a person has the more life they have right so um things like fasting fasting it concentrates this prana you know um uh, that prana that we call healing power healing power certain religions call it healing power the more prana a person has the more their system is able to recal recalibrate back into to, to balance so now this diaphragm this middle dantian is linked with myrrh right um so that's then the causal field right which is the spiritual or the energetic a person's spiritual or energetic health this is where the subtle body is this is where the chakras are this is where the seven energy wheels on the spinal column are right so now we're talking about how spirit moves in a person's life how spirit or how energy moves in in a person's life right uh, this is where the chakras and the energy centers are and then the third field the lower dantian that's the womb so now this is the place of physical health right so the womb it stores vitality and life force um so then um uh, as as a person you can access past present and future memory with it so this is also called the battery in the body an active magnet um so that feminine water uh, it's feminine water and air. It's the feminine water and air po portal inside of the body. So that's ba, right? Mer, uh, uh, spiritual, energetic body. Ka, mental uh, health, your brain. Ba, physical health, body. So mer, ka, ba. Mer, spiritual body. Ka, mental health, uh, mental body. Ba, physical body right so the physical body is the person's magnetic field so there with the upper dantian the people in the law of attraction community you'll hear you'll hear them talk a lot about the mental diet so your mental diet is what you're feeding your mind and then there with ba in the with your physical health the physical body this is then the physical diet what you feed your body all right so this is now how the physical self and how the body reflects that back because your mind that's the uh, that's 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 cause your mer right your energetic body that's effect ba this is the consequences right consequence great so now since the upper dantian which is the brain since it is the one that directs life force and directs vitality the body stores it it makes sense that memory is then released through the human body so this now is the original trinity the original trinity is merkaba right uh, merkaba being spiritual body mental body physical body or spiritual health uh, 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 mental health physical health right not the religious um, uh, 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 holy trinity 
uh, of the Christian faith, which will then tell you of the Father, the 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 Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? Uh, you know, this that's the one part of Christianity that I feel like should be left behind because that's where misogyny comes from. That's where woman hate comes from. That's where the exclusion of the feminine in divinity comes from. Where before Christianity, a witch or a witch doctor was not an evil thing. It was not a bad thing. It was just a woman who had esoteric powers, who had alchemical powers, and she could use them whether to destroy or not. But now with the uh, the, 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 the biblical pro programming that tells you that Eve is the root of all our problems and um, in order to connect with God you can only do that through the masculines because look at their trinity the father, the, the, the son, the holy spirit the original trinity is the father, the mother, the child right so that, exclu that, that exclusion of femininity is the, 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 at the root of all woman hate in the world, all misogyny, all erasure, right, of the feminine. So now, that's the part of that that definitely needs to be left behind as the world changes. So this is the original trinity then and what it actually means. Uh, uh, spiritual health, mental health, physical health. Upper dantian, brain. Middle dantian, diaphragm. Lower dantian, womb or gut. Gut if you're a man. Okay, now... Now let's zoom into the physical health part of the Merkaba triad. First, understanding what disease and illness is before we go into uh, balancing, rectifying, and aligning it. Let's first explore, right? Let's first explore what it actually is. Great. So there are diseases that are causal as a form of consequence coming from lifestyle choices and diet these are diseases that are hereditary right and then there are diseases that are hereditary hereditary so these are passed down from the ancestral memory in the womb then there are diseases also that are biological weapons these are diseases that are created in science labs to keep to try and keep this video short and to the point and for the purpose of this case study, we are going to zoom into causal diseases, diseases that are a consequence of lifestyle choices, right? Those are the ones that are the easiest to eradicate anyway. Um, so here, when we're talking about uh, causal diseases, we are talking about type 2 diabetes, back pain, knee pain, thyroid problems, constipation, acne, high blood pressure, PCOD, hair fall, eczema, fibroids, cysts, and gall stones, obesity, and cancer as well. Right? That's what we're talking about when we say causal diseases, causal illnesses. Right. In Tarot, we have the concept of, of stuck energy, right? Um, stuck energy that within the seven energy centers in the subtle body running up the spine, a person's energy can be overactive, underactive, or just blocked, all right? Um, in instances where a person's energy center is blocked, it manifests as physical sickness. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to play another case um, uh, study to illustrate this, but we'll do a separate video for her entire case study just so that when we're breaking down her situation a little bit more but i'm just gonna play it so that you're seeing that okay so when um a person is dealing with tarot or anything of a spiritual nature they are dealing with the middle dantian the middle dantian that diaphragm that place of breath that place of the chakras that place of the subtle body right so you're getting reflections from that subtle body which is why sometimes when they'll say okay there's a blockage in this area this area energy is not moving freely in this area that's usually the problem that has the most uh, that's usually the area that has the most problems right so let's play that this and then we'll we'll get back i had consulted with a Chinese doctor Ailing Amplelaka, the immune imbalance to ill is a healing during our, our reading. Um, immunity, um, in, uh, whatever disease or whatever thing, any kind of banaliona is a healing. Amplelaka, chances of um, having um, type 2 diabetes, chances of having problems with my liver. Um, we la pick up a happy the stress levels are way too high, and um, I need to eat 
feeling very alkalizing because can I a lot of acid in my body that this Chinese man will 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 pick up a different situation when he was doing it when he gets a consultation and then abam pay medication it's like herbs that's my china i remember you did say hore I was only thinking of emotional things. I never thought for like about physical ailments as well. I was going to say, 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 I was going to I know. I know. I know. I know. So, in this video, client explains how the blockages that were picked up correlated with the ailments in her body and she had a Chinese doctor confirm the findings. Okay. So those are just energetic blocks. In this video, we are creating a framework for the physical blocks. We're now past the middle Dantian. We are in the lower Dantian, which is the place of the womb, the gut feeling, the physical body, right? Uh, 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 so this is Ba. It's physical health. So meaning that in order for a person to be completely healthy, according to the Makaba triad, a person needs to have mental health, they need to have spiritual health, and then the, the, the consequences of that is complete physical health. So it's like they speak of it as since the Ba state, the lower Dantian is a reflection of the higher two. It means that in order to maintain proper health in our lives, we need to be able to have those two other ones in shape. Where, where your spiritual health is in shape, your mental health is in shape, and then your physical health then begins to follow suit. Because your physical body is a reflection of the higher realms as above, so below. Okay, we are going to break all of that down in understandable ways in this video. Great. Now, um, so to illustrate this point, to illustrate this point, I am going to quote the work of Suba Jain. She is a holistic healer of the Satvik movement founded in August of 2017. So she has done extensive work at explaining how waste in the body blocks arteries and organs and this causes physical disease. So I am going to quote her explanations and then revert back to case one for pointers of how this assisted client in clearing inner toxins in her own system, right? Okay, let's begin then. Uh, Suba Jane's um, explanations of how uh, a waste kind of like traps the proper flow um, of movement in the body. Okay, so she starts with when food actually enters. So when food enters your body through your mouth, it goes into your stomach where it is broken down and nutrients are absorbed. Then it moves to your small intestines where more absorption into the bloodstream happens. Then finally into your large intestines where everything that is not needed is removed and excreted out of your body through stools. Now, not all food takes the same amount of time to finish this cycle. Rough estimates um, fruit takes three hours to digest, one hour in the stomach, one hour in the small intestine, one hour in the large intestine. Vegetables take six hours to digest, that's two hours in the stomach, two hours in the small intestines, two hours in the large intestines. So grains such as wheat, rice, beans and lentils, they take 18 hours to digest. That's six hours in the stomach, six hours in the small intestine, six hours in the large intestine. So the less the water in the food, the harder it is to digest, like the more the labor of getting it digested, right? Now, if grains take 18 hours to pass through your system and most people eat them three to four times a day, that means that even before the last meal is digested, we throw in more food to digest. This means that the last meal is left undigested. It does not exit your body through stool. It rots, it ferments, it decays inside the body, growing mold, growing viruses, growing, fun growing fungus inside the intestines. And this is what forms tapeworms, ringworms, and other parasites inside the body. 
Parasites enter the body through the rotting, undigested food sitting inside the colon. That is what forms parasites. So bread, cheese, snacks, biscuits, fast food and sugar is difficult to digest and eliminate in the body because it is unnatural. Anything that doesn't come directly from the earth spends a longer time in the body going through the digestive tract with higher chances of becoming sitting waste inside the body. That is how waste forms, right? Now that we know how waste um, in the body forms um, and that it comes from the processed, unnatural and highly cancerous foods that we eat, then it becomes easy to understand that when that waste surrounds our organs and it sticks to the different layers, it blocks that organ's functioning. And when an organ doesn't work properly anymore, we call this disease. If waste sticks to the layers of our skin, we call this acne, eczema, psoriasis. Sometimes hormonal breakouts are linked to periods because that's when the female reproductive system cleans itself. Right? So now, if, you know, there's, it cleans it, 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 itself, but there are areas where there's just waste that are stuck. Uh, you know how sugar is, um, sugar is very sticky, You'll know it because if you spill a sugary drink on something, um, it doesn't dry up. Iba, it becomes that gooey thing. It's not like water where if you've poured water on a table, or your mill completely dries up. But with sugar, it takes a while to absorb. So now you can imagine that stickiness inside, right? So now if there's stickiness and a certain organ is not functioning the way that it should, this becomes a problem. So now um, if waste in the body forms... A stone in the kidneys or the gallbladder, we call it cysts. If waste sticks to your intestines, we call it constipation. If it sticks to the airway pipes in our bodies, making it difficult to breathe, we call it asthma. If it blocks the arteries affecting blood flow, we call it blood clotting. That unnatural dead food gets transported into the bloodstream and it gets delivered to every cell in the body. Meaning, if there's rotting dead waste sticking to the intestines, that will be absorbed and transported to every cell in the body as well. Now, if waste accumulates in the ovaries, we call it cysts. Um, and then that, the, the following, then that follows problems like PCOD and menstrual disorders. If waste forms plaque inside our artery walls, we call it cholesterol. Today, that waste might have manifested as a small problem, but if we do not clean it up, tomorrow the same waste will take on a much more serious and destructive state, such as the forming of a tumor or the forming of a cancer cell, based on the buildup inside of the body. Now, by taking out the buildup of waste and the toxins in the body, disease is automatically cured as no disease can survive in a body that is internally clean. As the body's natural healing power can then operate fully and uninterrupted. So I guess here then is when we then go back to these, um, uh, there is a saying, a Christian saying that says uh, cleanliness is close to godliness. So now it then makes sense that what was actually being said there is that the, the, the cleaner you are, the closer you are to divinity because then prana is able to work um, when there is no obstruction. And we know this because as a kid, you we would scar ourselves, we would fall ourselves, we would scratch ourselves and we wouldn't take anything. You wouldn't need to take any medicine or whatever. Your body has its own natural healing ability. So the stronger your chi, the stronger your, your prana, the more active that replenishing energy is, right? And then that prana coming from the middle dantian, right? Which is the place of the chakras where chi exists, right? So now cleanliness, closer, cleanliness, cleanliness is closer to godliness in the sense that without interruptions and obstructions, this energy is able to work, right, properly. Now, when detoxing, what you are doing is you are giving your internal body a bath, right? We know how important keeping clean is. As people, we bath every day to make sure that our hygiene is great. Now, you can imagine not bathing for an entire year, what you would then be like, right? So when we never detox, that's what's happening inside. There's all this filth and this dirt because we are not always eating clean, 
not everyone is able to even afford eating clean to be honest so now the the process of making sure that your inner house is clean that's what detox is there for you are giving your internal body a bath you are removing waste and toxins from inside you are taking out undigested food from your body all the waste and the toxins that are sitting inside needs to go that thing that they spoke about earlier on then food comes in some gets processed some doesn't get processed now the food that takes longer to process certain meats certain this certain that if the food is being processed and more food enters your system is going to not then not focus on that it's going to focus on the new food now you have sitting food here which can easily now the longer it stays the it can grow f- fungi and all of that funny stuff so um when detoxing when the detoxing process has been done properly you have clear skin you have more energy you've got mental clarity you lose weight as highlighted by client in case 1 where she said oh this is crazy my skin is different my skin is healing my skin is different and i've used antibiotics i've used this i've tried that i've done expensive creams i've done everything i've gone the whole nine yards and it's so crazy that a gut supplement is helping me it is because the waste inside is the thing that needs to be moved is the thing that needs to be cleared up and then the body's natural uh 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 defenses are then going to be able to replenish what needs to be fixed right so now with the creams and the and the everything jay when you are attending to the symptom and not the cause you are not really dealing with the the problem or where the issue lies so um waste it can easily be passed down through birth which continues the pattern through hereditary memory this is what is meant with sayings like by healing yourself you heal seven generations behind you seven generations ahead of you because pure poor immunity can be passed down poor immunity can be passed down we know things get passed down especially if you're a black person you know gifts get passed down you know certain things get passed down if you come from a especially if you if you're a man and you come from a a, a bloodline where they don't eat certain things you eat that thing you're going to lose your mind things get passed down genetically right so now if uh, your parents maybe did not have that know how of yo i need to be pure inside and out and this is not was never really a, a practice because when you are cleaning your aura you're clearing your aura you're clearing your spirit out that's the middle dantian the place of the chakras your subtle body right when you are doing work with your mental you're clearing your mental out meditation helps to clear your mind out regulate your mind align your mind and then with aura cleansings and things you're clearing your spirit out your energetic body but with stuff like gut cleansings colon cleanses all of those things you're cleaning your physical body out inside inside getting rid of waste getting rid of toxins so that your body can work properly again yes get getting all the unnatural substances out where was i so yes so things like fasting fasting helps to break down undigested foods and it supports your prana in naturally regulating the system so your prana is able to fix everything no matter where it's located or how long it's been there this healing power it stops healing and focuses on digesting and eliminating food in the body so fasting helps because if your body is not focused on digesting food it is preserving it is balancing it is aligning and it is replenishing you it is replenishing you and your entire system so energy starts moving the right way through your system it's like it resets it's like pressing the reset button that's what fasting does for your body it resets because now your body is not focused so much on processing foods moving food out processing food moving food out so if you're not eating 3 times a day you're giving your body time and space to focus on doing other things to replenish itself to preserve energy to store what needs to be stored to clear itself out now there are certain people that eat 4 times a day your body doesn't have time to do anything and this is why sometimes a lot of people they get a lot of spiritual insights and they get a lot of things when they are fasting they can even receive downloads when they've been fasting why because your body is not distracted it's busy it's working 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 it can't even focus on the energetic stuff 
So the gut supplement, the gut supplement that was sent to client was a mix of powdered roots, uh, uh, blended with organic hexane-free castor oil. It's important to get the organic and the hexane-free one because the 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 um, the retail quality uh, castor oil is is not. The, it has lost a lot of stuff. It has lost its resin, um, uh, uh, resinoleic acid. It is anything that is mass produced. It loses a lot of its goodness, right? So the organic hexane free kind is the best for if you're going to be preparing capsules and if you're going to be taking it, taking it in and if you're going to be using it for detoxing. And because this amount is taken in such small amounts, it doesn't affect client in a huge way where now they are they are, they've got diarrhea, or they, they, their bowels have been irritated. Because we take it in such small amounts, it just regulates your stools. You have your normal stools and it's just a better way of just making sure that you're constantly and consistently keeping a clean inner environment. So it's like bathing your inner, you know, daily, little by little, like chipping away until eventually everything is cleared out. So um, the root, the root, it targets the mind um, as the brain directs vitality and life force in the body. So the sharper a person's mental health is, the better the movement of prana in their system. So when our minds are in good shape, it directs the life force in our bodies properly. So neurotrophins and roots that are neurotrophins, they really clear the mind. They root out anxiety and depression and they really work as a brain tonic. So that strengthens the upper dantian. Right, it strengthens the upper dantian. That's what the root mix is there for. The organic castor oil um, is an antioxidant that strengthens and builds the lower dantian. So when we're talking about the lower dantian, we're talking about the physical body. So that's ba of the physical body in the macabre triad, and then um, the first one is ka, which is the mental body. Right in the macabre uh, 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 triad. So that's the upper dantian, the lower dantian. Now, the whole idea with the gut supplement is that if we can strengthen the immune system and boost it enough, the body's natural defenses are able to fight off whatever has entered the body. So it helps that resinoleic acid, um, it helps that the resinoleic acid and castor oil, it also cleans and detoxes the colon. Um, it has been used in the effective treatment of uterus, fibroids, cysts, and ovarian health. It impacts the pelvic area the most. It is great for treating warts, acne, scars, and the liver. Now, what makes me so passionate about this work is because I watched my grandmother suffer and die of diabetes and the complications that came uh, with it. And I wished in my heart that there were ways of eradicating physical imbalances. And my head, it was just this thing that what is the point of practical magic if it can't, you know, improve the quality of our lives. So I'm so happy to have stumbled upon all of this because now it means that all of these things can now just be avoided. They can be cleared out. I think it's easier to avoid it than to wait for the buildup to put you on your deathbed and then to work towards eradicating it. You know, especially because so many normal individuals do not have that brain power, you know, uh, do not have that brain power to, you know, it's better to prevent it than to work towards trying to then alleviate it and to troubleshoot it. So, uh, but there are also ways of troubleshooting it. Uh, this particular woman, Suba Jane, she cured herself of diabetes by just uh, detoxing and changing her diet. Um, and then there is the woman, uh, my favorite YouTuber, Mina Ifan. So Mina Ifan, she had an autoimmune disease. She had a, an autoimmune disease and she was told it was, she had rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, she had rheumatoid arthritis and she was told it will never heal. She just has to live with it and she just needs to be cool with that for the rest of her life. And um, she also healed it. So sometimes I feel very frustrated with the the medical field because I feel like with all that knowledge because then it just reminds you that okay fine it's either there's actually a business or there's actually this this real thing of let's help people you understand so yeah sometimes it just feels like it fails us so much because both of these people were in instances where they're like no you can never heal this you can never fix it right 
just pop all of these pills just give us your money pay buy all of these pills pump yourself with chemicals but if it's not helping me fix my problem then what is it doing right because there's a difference between managing an illness and completely getting rid of it right and the people that i've worked with personally they build their prana up so much that some of them are able to heal physical ailments without even needing to really detox because the stronger your prana the more it can overcome and the more it can regulate and balance things right that if there's a deviation jay in 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 in, in the way in which your nat your your body naturally is it can just take you back you know um to 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 to, to your default setting right so yeah so the the organic castor oil uh what it actually does is it improves immunity by increasing white blood cells called t3 cells in the body these fight infections in the system it releases white blood cells and it produces lymphocytes which boost the immune system so now the more antibodies in the system the more the body is able to kill viruses funguses bacteria and cancer cells in the body so lymphocytes are the body's natural disease fighters which remove toxins and bad bacteria in the body the other thing that frustrates me is that a lot of people who are actually sick don't know it until it's too late because you know in case one with client where she's like oh my god i have so much energy i i'm revived my mind is clear i can do so much that i couldn't do now as a person who is sick sometimes you become so familiar you get used to the to the tiredness and the 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 the, the fatigue and the this and the that and it starts to feel normal and more normal and more normal so there are some people that are sick and they have no idea that they are sick the only time it shows up is if it reflects drastically that now they are warts and now they are this and now they are coughing and now they are this and now it's obstructing their day to day and then um by then when they start clearing it up they are almost always surprised that wow i have so much energy i have so much this i can't believe it i can't believe i was living in the way that i was living all along because when that vitality finally comes in for them it's like shocking so um a weakened immune system it increases the risk of contracting serious conditions and illnesses it blocks the development of fungal infections it cures yeast infections as well athlete's foot anything linked with a fungus a virus anything it just starts to clear all of that it de- decreases migraines it improves complexion it detoxes the gut and it draws toxins out when we do not drink it in high dosages it doesn't irritate the bowels too much it just ends up just regulating the stools now um the capsule it targets the brain and the womb as the two physical places of the macabre triad where the mind and the um, the mind and the physical body are very much like physical parts of our being whereas the energetic and the spiritual is not exactly physical it's more it's like the soul around us or our auric field so because we can't touch it and see it we can only feel it and when your aura is 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 amplified people are more drawn to you you can experience it but you can't really touch it so now the capsule it deals directly with that so the salts and the root soaps um now they have the same combination they are made with the same combination of roots but the focus for them is more on the middle dantian which is the auric field because now a clear auric field is a clear and clean prana so the more the stronger your prana is the stronger you're able to transmute situations and overcome things um in your life the more of it you have the more healing power exists inside of you yes so that pretty much wraps up our topic and i think we're on 36 minutes so i'm going to be too long the longest it will get with all the feedbacks is probably like 40 minutes but yeah it's not terrible so yes um so that now is the topic of today it was uh physical healing alchemy in a case study uh togozani i hope this helps somebody greetings um city love on allow hang uh i did a reading in sent my file last year august um i was referred to a then colleague friend uh who's now a sister to me um and i'm so grateful ho kongo pan still when today i don't have much to say to you but i want to thank you for saving my life i want to thank you for 
you know, shaking me and waking me up and sort of like giving me a second chance in life. Because if it was not for that file, yeah, indeed, uh, there wouldn't be a me today. Um, I don't have it all yet, but I think I'm living in my answered prayers right now. I got a job at the bank in November. I started um, already now. I got a promotion, like, you know, I don't know how I made it in the bank <laughs> with my profile. Like in Jay, like my income has been small for the past few months before my promotion. But I can hope only get a macaculis and petrol. I can hope only get a robala or Manaka Robala Saja. I mean, today Manaka is going to one of the best schools. How they accepted him, I don't know. But thank you. Thank you because that mantra alone is a daily bread to me. And it, it, it's helping me a lot. I don't want to lie. Um, I know some of us can talk, can go out there, you know, and save others. But I believe when we see you, thank you so much for what you did in my life. Literally, I can say that my son didn't have a mother then, but now he has a mother, you know. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Just want to thank you.